Moto offers a variety of ways to cut, slice, and split the polygons that make up your mesh. These operations enable you to add additional edges to the topology of your mesh that can be used to define a shape, create seams, and other common modeling tasks. Let's take a look at some of the common options available. The polygon triple command will convert the selected polygons into three-point polygons. This can be a quick way to triangulate your geometry. If you'd like to control the way Moto triangulates the polygon, simply select the polygon, then select the vert that you want all the new edges to connect to and use the triple fan command. The quadruple command works similar to the triple command, but converts the selected polygons to quadrangles, also referred to as quads or four-point polygons. The collapse selection command can be a quick way to convert ingons into triangles with the radial topology, where all of the border verts connect to a vert in the center of the selection. You can manually split polygons by selecting two verts and running the polygon split command. While this can be slower than some of the other options, it gives you full control on how the geometry is split. The Add Loop tool enables you to interactively add a continuous edge through a loop of polygons. Holding the Shift key and left-clicking enables you to start a new loop. As with all interactive tools, you'll want to explore the Add Loop tool attributes in the Tool Properties panel to get the most out of what the tool can provide you. Selecting an ingon and running the Fill Quads command will attempt to convert the selection to an all-quad topology. The true power behind this tool is when you enable the Fill with Grid pattern option. If your selection has an even number of edges for both the width and the height, the selected areas will be filled with a grid of quad polygons. There are a number of slicing tools that can be found in the Edit sub-tab of the Model Toolbar. The Polygon Slice tool enables you to create a slicing plane that cuts through the currently selected geometry. Curve Slice is similar, but uses a curve to do the slicing instead of a flat plane. The most commonly used tool for cutting up a mesh is the Edge Slice tool. This tool allows you to click from edge to edge or vert to vert to interactively slice up your mesh. Take advantage of the multi-slice option to cut through multiple polygons in a single click. You also want to explore the various attributes to gain further control of this powerful tool. Pin Slice uses the same options as the standard pin tool, but can be used to cut new edges into your mesh. I use Loop Slice on almost every mesh I create. To use, simply select two polygons or a single edge, activate the tool, and click and drag to set the placement of the new edges. This powerful tool enables you to cut edges into your geometry similar to Add Loop, but with additional features such as the option of adding multiple slices in one click. The Polygon Axis Slice tool can be used to quickly add evenly spaced slices to your selection. There are several other options for cutting and slicing up your mesh such as Dicer, Julian, Subdivide, and more, but spend some time with these commands and tools to get comfortable with them and to have a better idea of which one to use the next time you need to add additional edges to your mesh. As with most things, there isn't a single way of tackling any given task. Simply being aware of these options available to you will allow you to make better decisions when problem solving.